You know, for me, the answer to why I like filming hunts, it's simple. It's the challenge. It's the challenge of, of getting all the equipment together, getting out there in the timber, getting everything all set up the right way, making everything happen all at the same time. Two people in the woods, is, there's nothing like it. It's a challenge unsurpassed by any other challenge in the outdoor industry. You know, I picked up the camera for the first time, really, just an at, to add another element to, to hunting. You know, it's simply a progression as a hunter for me. You know, I started out as a kid, my dad taking me out uh, on my first deer hunt when I was 13 years old with a, with a shotgun. And for four or five years after that, you know, killing a few deer with a, with a gun. And then, you know, as I progressed, I picked up a bow and arrow and I killed a few deer with my bow and arrow. And then I started setting my standards of what I was killing higher, holding out for mature trophy bucks. And after I'd shot a, a couple good bucks, you know, I wanted to take it to the next level. So for me, picking up the camera, and learning how to master the art of, of laying that video down of the actual hunt and the encounter uh, was just, a, for me, a progression as a hunter to raise the bar. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm having a blast the last five years um, trying to master the art of laying that footage down. And really, um, I'm not to where I need to be, so th this progression is, is a still a work in progress. I'm having a blast doing it. When I was younger, I used to go around our family farm and do a lot of filming. And the reason why I really got into the, the filming part was because I'd bring back the footage back home and around Christmas time, all the family would get together and they'd watch what I videoed throughout the farm. And it was just neat for me sitting there watching everybody's expression and seeing the enjoyment they got out of what I filmed and the experiences I had in the woods. So the more I got into it, the more I filmed, the more people wanted to see my footage. And to me, it was just bringing the experience all back home for everybody else to watch and just watch other people enjoying what I was also seeing out in the outdoors. You know, I think the, the main reason I got into filming hunts was just the opportunity to share the experience with other people. I've pretty, pretty much been a solo archery hunter my whole life, but my buddy Corey, he uh, talked me into dropping the bow and getting behind the camera one day, and, and I was hooked. So now I want to come back to camp and share my experience with other people. Uh, they can't say I'm a liar, because uh, it's all captured on film. I got introduced to filming a couple years ago. I uh, thought it would be a way to expand my horizon as a hunter and an outdoorsman. Plus it would give me the opportunity to, to have something I could share with my family and friends, my kids, my grandkids, show them what the outdoor world's really all about. It's not always about the kill, it's about what, what you see in Mother Nature and uh, just the things you don't get to see every day in the city or at your desk. So that's really why I got in behind filming and running the camera just because it's, it's exciting.